So here we, there's a nice little evening shot of Milpa Street, and it's one of the last refuges for mom and pop shops in the city, right? It's one of the last places where there's locally owned businesses and you know where the people feel really connected to the community. I think that's one of the strengths of the street, actually. So in putting together this project, we had a retreat early this year, and we said, hey, you know, our trash cans, they look kind of kind of yucky and they look kind of beat up. And they're owned um, by the city of Santa Barbara, and Councilman Greg Hart is here with us tonight. You want to raise, you know, wave to everybody. Been a big supporter of ours. So our trash cans look bad. They look out of date, dingy. We have actually four different styles of trash cans on the street. And as you can see, they're blight magnets. Um, people like to, to beat them up and graffiti them and kick them and dump trash all over. We also have something I'm not going to show you in the slide, but we have a little littering problem. And the littering problem exists between Coda Street and Canyon Perdido. And can you guess why that might be? It's where the junior high and the high school are. So we have a lot of kids walking on Milpa Street after school. And unfortunately, there's a lot of wrappers and Coke cans and things like that that you would sort of see. So we thought, well, you know, how could we fix this problem? How could we give our, our street a facelift and make, the can, you know, make it look better? And how could we fix our little littering problem? So we decided we would have some of our kids actually create art. We would upload it electronically print it on banners and wrap the cans temporarily with these sleeves. And the city was actually kind of willing to let us do it and experiment with it. So this is one of the experiments. We're also the group that did the Taste of Milpas. Have you heard of that event where we rebranded ourselves as Santa Barbara's Eat Street? Because we think we have all the bomb food on Milpa Street. So this was a project that we did with the Boys and Girls Club of Santa Barbara. We took the old Milpas post office, which has been empty for about four years now, and we turned it into an art gallery for the day. This is the old dispensary that was at 331 North Milpas Street. We also turned that into an art gallery. So all that was done for the Taste of Milpas. So this is a street that likes art, so let's do some stuff with art, right? That's why we decided to do this particular project. The first project was actually done with Casa de la Raza. Oh, sorry, we did win Neighborhood of the Year last year and this year um, in Eugene, Oregon, and we won it in the category of social revitalization. The fixes on Milpa Street, they haven't been done by putting up a new building or a community center. It's been done by the neighbors pulling together, by business owners actually coming out and working on their neighborhood and actually putting their hands on their street. I mean, that, and the other thing that's kind of cool about this, I've researched us, there's not another organization like this anywhere in the nation that I can find. It's businesses working together with the residents, with nonprofits, and our schools. So that's truly like a community association, right? Businesses tend to be, you know, chamber groups and neighborhood associations tend to be for the homeowners. So this actually is really an unusual model. I think that's one of the reasons it's successful. So I want to see the litter picked up on Milpa Street, which is one of the reasons I wanted to put messaging on the cans done by the kids of like, okay, pick it up, put it, you know, put it in the bin. If you see, you know, if you see trash, pick it up. And what's a healthy community look like? This is the Casa de la Raza art team this summer. They did our pilot project for us. I asked them to put together a prototype so that we could show the Arts Advisory Committee and Visual Art in Public Places what one of these banners would look like. This is some of the art that the Casa de la Raza kids produced for us. And you could see that they went with Eat Street, obviously, as part of their messaging. And they also wanted to let you know people know to pick trash up. I think if it's kids telling kids to clean up, it sounds better. And I think the message gets received better, right, than it does if we adults just nag at them. Yeah? So why not let them take ownership of that? We had a guy from the neighborhood that volunteered to photograph all the art digitally so that we could assemble it in Photoshop um, into a, our prototype. And that prototype would be used to get us through the architectural board of review. And this is it. This is what the banner actually looked like before it went to print. One of the things we learned from this project is you can only see one third of the can at any given time. So you should probably put three images on a banner so that you're looking at a full image on the can. And then I got, um, got this printed and I got this really nice guy and you can see him right here in the photograph. He owns the Blue Sands Inn down at the beach, Paul Gifford. He uh, offered to put the prototype on the cans for me so we could see how they look. So you can see this is an MTD can. 
MTD has a whole different style of can, and the banner works actually perfectly well on the MTD can. And now you can see that it kind of pops visually. You know, when you're walking down Milpa Street, you will see it. And the idea is for the kids to be able to see it too. We have 42 cans on Milpa Street. So I got a lot of art to produce. <laughs> um, and right now I have the Boys and Girls Club actually lined up. They're, they've done their next set of artwork and it will be going through the Visual Arts and Public Places Committee on November 15th for approval, and Adelante Charter School is also working on producing it. They have the Incredible Children's Art Network program. I can, we love them, as does Franklin. Franklin Elementary has it too. Um, I'm trying to talk the Visual Arts and Design Academy at the high school into doing this as well, and I'd like to also see Franklin's I Can program. We're embarrassingly rich in the east side with really solid youth arts programs. So one, that's one of the reasons I'm going to the, all the trouble of doing this is because I want those programs to be able to, to produce the art for the cans. This came through the Boys and Girls Club. Some of it was unfortunately rejected by ABR and the Visual Arts Committee because they don't want to see anything that looks corporate. So yeah, all right, yeah, we can, we, can, we, can, we can wax about this. I will tell you that ABR did approve the project though. They did approve the banner project to go on the trash can, so. <laughs> True. The project will run for three years, and each of the banners is expected to last about six months before enough wear and tear kind of, kind of rails them down. So what do you think? Do you like the Yes We Can project? Like the idea? 